In this video, we're going to be learning about terms and collecting like terms. A term is either a number, a variable, or the product of a number and a variable. So here are some examples of things that can be considered terms. As you can see, we have constants, we have variables, we have coefficients and variables, and of course, we have coefficients and many variables. Now, if you want to know how many terms there are in an algebraic expression, all you have to do is take a look at all of the addition operators and subtraction operators. So in this expression, we have two addition operators and one subtraction operator. These operators will serve as separators. So they literally separate all of the terms. So everything to the right and left of it is considered a term. In this situation, we have four terms. Now, what about this situation right over here? Although we do have three addition operators, the one in the middle is being added, then it's bracketed, and it is first being multiplied. Of course, multiplication has precedence over addition. This entire thing right over here is considered one whole term. So this algebraic expression actually has three terms. Awesome. So now we move on to simplifying terms. You can simplify terms if they are like terms. Now, like terms have the same variables and the same exponents. So in this situation right over here, we have the same variables and both of them have no exponents, which is basically the same thing as having an exponent of one. Therefore, the exponents are the same as well. In this situation, all we have to do is add the coefficients and leave the variable alone. We get 8x when simplified. In this situation, we have 2x to the exponent 2 plus 4x to the exponent 2. Now, we see that the variables are the same and the exponents are the same, so we know that these are like terms. Therefore, we end up with 6x to the exponent 2. In this situation, we have two different terms. But you'll notice that each term has the variables a and c. So in this situation, we can simplify this down to 2 times a times c. What you do want to be careful for is a situation like this where you have 5x squared minus 3x. Sure, the variables are the same, but you'll notice that the exponents are different. So these two terms cannot be simplified in that this right here, this expression, is the most simplified form. Now let's take a look at an example that's a little bit more tricky. Take a look at this expression right here. Can it be simplified in any way? Well, the answer is yes. Surely the 7a has no hope in simplifying with anything else. But these two terms right here, they do look a little bit similar. It seems like the variables have a different order in which they are being multiplied. And of course, for multiplication, the order does not matter. For example, 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2. They both equal 6. So when we look at these two terms, we look at the fact that both have a p, the exponent is 1, both have a g, the exponent is 1, and both have a k. And of course, the exponent for the k is also 1. So these can be simplified. Our final result is 7a plus 2gkp. Of course, we could have written that in whatever order we want, could have been 2pkg or 2pgk. And remember, when we say like terms need to have the same variable and the same exponents, we literally mean the exact same. So in a situation like this, although it looks very similar, 
the term over here has an extra b that is being multiplied. Because the term on the right over here does not have a b that is being multiplied, you cannot simplify this any further. Great, so let's take a look at another example. Here we have x plus 2x plus 3y minus 2y. So we notice that we have x and 2x. These two terms can be simplified. The question is, what is the coefficient for this variable on its own? Well, it turns out to be the case that whenever you see a variable on its own, it actually has a hidden coefficient of 1. The reason why is that when you do 1 times a variable, you're just going to get the variable itself, because 1 times anything is just that same number. So when you see this as 1x plus 2x, that becomes much easier to simplify. This becomes 3x, and 3y minus 2y is obviously 1y. Now instead of writing 3x plus 1y, we know that we can simplify 1y to just y. And that becomes 3x plus y. Lastly, let's take a look at this expression right here. This expression has two terms. An equivalent expression to this one, but in a different way, would have been 8x plus 3y plus 2y. Of course, if we simplify 3y and 2y, we would just end up with our original expression. The difference, however, is that the expression on the left side has two terms, while the expression on the right side has three terms. So there you have it. Now you know about terms and how to collect like terms in order to simplify algebraic expressions.